as law abiding citizens and responsible leaders of our party in River State, we recognize the elected president of our country and pledge our full support for the success of his administration for the benefit of all Nigerians. In effect, we subscribe to the president's efforts at strengthening our economy, fighting insecurity, and promoting peace and harmony in our dear country, Nigeria. In the same vein, His Excellency Amopu Senebo, Sir Simnela Fubara, was elected democratically as governor of River State and also affirmed by the Supreme Court as indigenous and critical stakeholders of River State, we give our dear government our total loyalty and support for the progress of our state and through him support the President of the Republic of Nigeria as we believe that working together, the good and interests of River State will be protected. With the elections over, now is the time for real governance for the progress of our state and nation. It is for this reason that we call on all our supporters to give total support and unalloyed loyalty to the governor of River State and Mr. President. Today, we are sad because in the last few months, the peace of our state has been disturbed by the foolish actions of one selfish man who believes that more than 7 million reverse people are his slaves for electing him as their governor for eight years. Our people are not a conquered lot and will never subscribe to the mentality of conquest. We also refuse to be divided along tribal or ethnic lines. The FCT minister has threatened publicly to destabilize the peace in River State. The president has a duty to call him to order. We, the River's people, will not stand by while an individual decides that he will not, that we will not sleep with our two eyes closed. The Holy Book says, He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind. 